Hola bueno, a todos y bienvenidos a Chorrientes de Black Ops. Continuamos con Cla eh, Cloud Punk. Let me past. No, I ain't going nowhere. Your boss wants to talk to me. I'm not supposed to be late. You're making me late. If you're late, you should have got here earlier. If I'm late, I'm telling him why. I'm just chopping with your lady. Japping? Fooling with you. Rubric don't want to see you. Just wants you to have this. He left this package for you. Where is it supposed to go? Uh huh? You don't know? Nope. No. Well, I guess he's gonna tell you. Better hurry, Robert. Gonna be late. Good, Rabbit. Follow the nav point. Please. Make us mal, Rubric. I didn't say I wanted to accept a call, Camus. I couldn't stop him. He's taken over the calm. You want to know what it is, don't you? You've been turning it over in your mind. The home path. What did Lomo have me deliver down there in the hollows? You can't stop thinking about it. To be honest, I've had bigger things to worry about. Hmm. <laughs> oh, don't let me deflate your ego, though. You were saying? You've got a lot to learn about living in the valley. Mira, estoy haciendo un montón de pasta en una sola noche. Me merece la pena. It takes a lifetime to understand this city. A lifetime? Well, then the earlier I start, the longer it will take. You know what Palad 3.0 does to people? What it could do to you? It's a virus, right? I heard there was an outbreak. It's much more than a virus. Pallet 1.0 affected computers, but Pallet 2.0 affects neural augments. It makes autonomic bodily functions become conscious choices. It does not stop the individual. Tatara, tatara. Agrano, ve agrano. Their lungs breathe, but it stops that from happening without command. When an individual is afflicted with Pallet 2.0, they must make their heart beat. They must be conscious of every breath. They I cannot know. sleep, cannot lose focus for a second, or they will die. You made this virus? No, it is an ugly thing, an ugly way to die. Slow and cruel, but I created the economy around it. The subscription plans, the digital inoculation, the cure, insurance policies to protect the families of those it afflicts. Sounds like a protection racket. Which economies are any different? You're full of shit. What is this package? Pallet 2.0, the last pure source code stored on Quanta Drive. It can't be decrypted by anything in the valis below the spires. And you want me to do what? Spread it? Quarantine it. There's a simple unmarked delivery chute in the stacks. It will take the sample. Quarantena me parece bien. Tirar la mar me parece mejor. Bunker where rare and unique viruses are stored in case they are needed again. Needed for what? To make new viruses? To fight them, but also to manage the economy. If my associates were to infect a few thousand people with a low level neural affliction, every individual would pay for a security upgrade. That upgrade would become a panacea. Everyone would install it, and the next far more dangerous virus would hit them as a harmless ripple instead of a devastating tidal wave, leaving them untouched. Their lives would be saved. You know, this city has its share of monsters, but I think you're the worst. And don't forget it. I've given you the final nav point. Do your job, little rabbit. He is gone. 
We are alone again. Camus, is there a waste disposal near? One that leads all the way to the sea. Yes, I have a nav point. Can we really do that? I don't believe this is a cure at all. This is Rubric's retirement plan, and he'll use it again. What if sending it to disposal means someone else gets it? Or maybe it will spread. The package says it is dangerous. It's worth it. Ugh. Besides, I don't think Rubric wants anyone else to know he gave us this. If he goes after us, we can rat him out to Lomo. I don't believe for one second that Lomo would be forgiving. Jugaremos al... Con la posibilidad de Ramia. A fin de cuentas, ella dice que no se fía y quiere hacer esto. Pues queremos hacer esto. Ya está, no pasa nada. Lo siento, Rubric, pero... no. That's it. Off to the oceans. Swallowed by the seas as they complain across a thousand shores. Where did that come from, Camus? It is just an expression. I can stop if it is annoying. No. No, I like it. Expressions, quotes, poetry. Go nuts. We are become deaf. Destroy no. all worlds. Let's hope not. Eso sería si hubiésemos hecho lo otro. Oye, Huxley, ¿has encontrado a tu chica? The dame answered the call. I knew she wouldn't let me down. Huxley, you can't keep asking for help. I have to do my job. You're on your own. I hope the dame knew I wouldn't be calling if I had any other choice. Damn it, Camus, what should I do? I should leave him, right? I am not so sure. But you hate him. He is one of us now. A friend. Really? All right. Huxley, where are you? I sent the dame a nav point. I'm on my way. A ver, ¿en qué nivel está esta persona? Vale, más abajo, más abajo, más abajo. Camarada Bob. Systems of power must justify themselves. Store the establishment back on the shelf. Excuse me? Hustle pass like you don't hear me. Step over the homeless like you can't even see me. Are you talking, uh, singing at me? Another cog in the machine. Say you're a worker, but your hands are clean. Bueno. Hey, I need to work for a living. They exploit you every day and you're thinking for it. One hand pets you on the back, the other is in your pocket. Maybe people would take your social protest more seriously if you weren't singing all the time. If they reprogram me, mess with my head. Now if I don't sing what I think, I end up dead. Seriously? They make you sing? Go up second, handle the truth so they make me rhyme. Handle kism in the pros has had its time. That kind of impacts on your credibility. Huh, and that's the plan. But even if I had to sing every word, I keep fighting the man. Huh. Huh. Maybe if you didn't insult me, I'd try to help you. Don't want your help. Just want you to look around. And see the people lying on the ground. I see them. I know it's tough here. Maybe you ain't so bad. Maybe Conrad Bop is still just mad. For real. Now you can help if you want to. There's a guy who needs your guidance up on Third Avenue. Guidance? He knew. He don't know the streets. Tell him come see me in an hour and I'll get him something to eat. Why do you need me to talk to him? He don't like me. Don't like my singing. He said my flow. Had his ears ring. I see his point. I know I can't sing, can't make good music But we can all make a better world if we make the choice to choose it Ragwan me suena ¿Por qué me suena Ragwan?
Que los videojuegos hacen a la gente violenta y que por eso van a ser confiscados. ¡Me cago en vuestra put! ¡Os reventaré! ¿Dónde está este hombre? Está para allá. Vale, está cerca. ¿Y por qué me suena Rawan? Creo que hemos hablado con él. Era... ¿Era un cliente? No, no te vayas. ¡Vuelve conmigo! ¡Vuelve! ¡Vuelve! Elve, 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 elve. ¡Vuelve! A casa vuelve. Ese brazo. ¿Por qué está ese hombre ahí? A ver, Rawan. Rawan, Rachu, Rathri. Hey, Mr. Rawan. He say he you got to feed. I recognize you. You got in trouble for fraud. You saw me on the Holovids? Something like that. I was sent to help you. Ha! By that singing socialist toaster? No thanks. I think he's an anarchist. He's scum. They all are here. I can't wait to get home. Home? To your apartment? Did you get another job? People like me don't get fired. I go back Monday. This is my punishment. For grand scale fraud? A weekend on the street? It might be easy for someone like you to endure this place. But I have family in the spire. I'm not like these people. I, this is hell. I can't believe Bop was going to help you. He knows I get home soon. I told him I don't care about his cause. Even after you've seen what they go through here? Leave me alone. Well, he says you can get food if you go and see him in an hour. Fine. Message received. Hola. Interesante. Rawan es el tipo este que estaba buscando nuestro detective privado favorito. ¿No? Ahora puedo bajar, por favor. ¿Puede bajar? Y ahí está. ¿Qué hace usted, Sabi? ¿Por qué está usted ahí? ¿Estarán todos los ascensores? Bueno, nos da igual. ¿Dónde está nuestro amigo? Huxley. Sí. Of course. Do you think if I am a car for long enough, I will stop being a dog? No. Well, I guess that depends. Do you feel like a car now? No. I am a dog. Well, whatever you feel like, that's what you are. But other people don't look at me and think, that is a cute dog. Well, let's be honest, you Yoshi. were never a cute dog. But now I'm not any kind of dog. Not to other people. They just see me as a hova. Who cares what other people think? Eres un buen chico. Look what happens when I try to bark. That's strange. I guess there's going to be some weirdness when we put a dog automata in a hava automata slot. Am I still a dog if I don't bark? Well, I'm your best friend, and I think of you as a dog. Friend? If I'm a dog, am I not a pet? Look, no. Camus, what do you want to be? I feel like a dog. I was happier when I had the old body. What's a dog with no bark? Stop second guessing yourself. You're being maudlin. Are you still a musician if you don't play music? Hey, now you're being mean. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to. What's really bothering you? You didn't ask me if I wanted to be a dog or a hova. Well, actually, you're right, Camus. Do you want to be either? Hmm. You don't even need to be my friend if you don't want to be. I feel sad. Look, a lot of stuff is fucked up in this world, Camus. I won't make you be my friend or force you to stay with me. You can go free. I just want to let you know something first. 
I am listening. I like you. You're a good friend. As a dog, car, fire hydrant, vacuum cleaner, whatever. I like you too. I want to be a dog and your friend. All right then, let's get back to work. The sooner we make some more deliveries, the sooner I can save money to get you a proper frame. Was the last job good? The Andersons? I don't know, Chemis. I've been thinking about automata and androids a lot. Sometimes it doesn't seem fair. Do you think it's fair? I am not really programmed to think about fairness. I can see why they would make you that way. People are programmed too, but not by programmers. By the world around them. That's very wise, Camus. I am not programmed to be wise. Well, you've gone beyond your programming then. Is that a compliment? Yep. Maybe the highest compliment. Then I think you have gone beyond your programming too. <laughs> Hay que reconocer que los diálogos y las situaciones de este juego son muy, muy buenas. Vaya. Camino equivocado. Y Camus es el más grande. Camus es el más grande. Qué susto pensar que Huxley estaba muerto. Hola. This had better be good, Huxley. Wait, what happened to your arm? It was a good question. How do I tell the dame that when Raguan's goons gave me the elbow, I lost an arm? We had to get moving. Tengo, tengo recambios. I gave them a nav point that would get us out of danger. They ripped your arm off? You have to go to Corpsec, Huxley. Nope. Raguan, Corpsec, Peter. They were all tangled up in some complex web I couldn't untangle. But I knew one thing. If I tugged on the wrong thread, the spiders were gonna come for their lunch. What does that mean? I am sorry I said to pick him up. He is still very annoying. <laughs> Quiet for now, Camus. Huxley, you think Corpsec is involved in Pashta's disappearance? It was all connected, but I couldn't see how. Someone was lying. Raguan said I should talk to Peter, but then his gorillas ripped off my arm and threw me out of a sixth floor window. So just call Peter and ask him what's really going on. Now the client wouldn't answer my calls. I could feel the girl slip through my fingers. And if I couldn't pull her back, she'd slip through the cracks too. That's why you called me, right? You want me to take you to Peter? I wanted to tell the Dane that she was right. That it, that it would be easy. She thought I was asking for a quick journey across town, but I was asking her for much more. I was asking her to go out on a limb for me. I was... Huxley, just this one time, please skip to the point. Cloudpunk. That was the name of the company the dame worked for. They had some serious resources. Vehicles, contacts with society both high and low, and an up-to-date address list of almost everyone living in Nivalis. Oh no. Huxley, that could get me fired. If we are just asking, maybe we won't get in trouble. Camus, you didn't want us to help Huxley in the first place. I have been thinking more about things, about automata and what we do. And? We need to help each other, help each other be better, like saving a little girl. Everything is so complicated in the city. You do something and it is a bit good, but a bit bad too. But saving the little girl is only good. I, I can't explain it very well. No, it's fine. There? I get it. It's nice to help people when you can, but I'm responsible for both of us, Camus. If I get fired, I can't even keep you in the Hava. Never mind find you a new body. I understand. I still want to help find Pashta. I didn't want to impose on... Quiet, both of you. I have to make a call. Control, this is driver 14... This is Rania. I need to ask for a favor. I read your driver. What do you need? I need an address. I don't think I'm understanding you. We don't have a new job for you yet. Um, there's no packages right now, but if you give it half an hour... This isn't really about work. I need a personal favor. I just need you to give me someone's address. You uh, know this someone? 
Not really. Look, I know it's a big ask. Yeah, you ain't joking. Uh, you're asking me to share private info. I could uh, get deleted. Deleted? Fired. I could get fired. Uh, you want to tell me what this is all about? A girl is missing. The less details you know, the better, right? I just need this one favor, Control. It's important to me. I don't uh, want to hear any more about this, 14FC. I'm signing off. Control, wait. Her name is Pashta. She's alone, probably scared, taken from her family. This has got nothing to do with us, Rania. I could have been that little girl. That's why I have to help. Growing up, the debt corpse could have taken me away from my mom. But every time, she somehow came up with the money. It was close. Don't you get it? Look, Rania, this isn't a normal favor. Not no, no, What if it was your little girl? You don't want to go there. I can't. Look, it's one address. Don't say anything. Don't tell anyone. Peter Unthrink. That's the name. Just hang up, then send us the address. I'll never ask for anything like this again. Control out. I am nervous. That was tense. Yeah, I wasn't sure he would... We got a nav point. The dame really came through. Yeah. Problemas, problemas, problemas. Bueno. I am receiving an order to stop by Corpsec. Are you sure it's Corpsec? I don't see anyone. The signal is from close by, but I don't know where exactly. It seems like Corpsec, but there is no incident number. They normally send an incident number. This is Corpsec. You're speaking to Agent Rio. We have reason to believe you are harboring a known criminal. Rio, Rio es el jefe de los Corpsec que nos estaban acosando desde el principio. No me gustas, no me gustas. Rogue Android Huxley. Nah. Rio again. Why are you following us? Is this personal? You are currently breaking the law. Corpsec requires you to turn in your passenger and surrender yourself to... Camus, you said the signal is close by. I don't think this Rio is on official business. Is he affecting any of your systems? No. If we drive, we could get out of his range. You have 60 seconds to comply. If he's not really Corpsec, I think we should run for it. But if he is, he might call for backup to chase us. Maybe we should call his bluff. Cuarenta segundos. Tengo que correr mucho. ¿Quieres dejar de embozarte contra cosas? Venga. Au, veinte segundos. Vamos, pierde mi rastro, Astoria. Corpsec officers about everything we know, including your boss. But we don't want to be arrested. This is bad. Quiet, Camus. If they wanted to arrest us, they wouldn't be talking. I don't think this is really Corpsec. Something is off. Don't start a battle with me, girl. I'll make it into a war. Either arrest us or let us go. Drop this. Drop that android. Get yourself out of this mess while you can. I won't warn you again. He 
has disconnected. Let's get moving, Camus. Camus, where is this nav point taking us? The Alexa Theater. Maybe Peter lives in an apartment above it? Clerk in the lobby. Yeah, that would be my guess. Peter would be working the popcorn stand, mixing up the hottest flavors, caramel and anchovy with cinnamon protein flakes, ready for the next screening. Piece of trash anti-android prop films. Cyborgs ate my babies three. Is that a real movie? Yes, I saw it advertised on a poster. Gross. <laughs> we are getting a message. It is from Control. Put him through. He is not on calm. It's just a text message. He says that CorpSec networks are down all over the city. There's a CorpSec security point between here and the Alexa Theater. But if we go on foot, we might be able to get through. I'm not sure CorpSec really are looking for us. I think it was just that one guy trying to scare us off. Agent Rio? Yeah. You're okay to go on your own, Huxley, right? We can drop you at the security point? Hola. In a simple world, that would be the plan. But this was a complicated city. Security points like that one couldn't be crossed by an android without a human to accompany them. What? Why? I know why. On the holovids, they said something about an android virus. Humans are worried that the androids are going crazy in this zone. That sounds like crazy propaganda. Who would believe that? The dame didn't know her history. Truth is, that neighborhood was never the friendliest for rust buckets like me to begin with. Back in 69, the riots hit the district hard. Alexa Theater was ground zero. I'll come through with you then. If the security points are down, they shouldn't have any reason to stop us. But just be cool, Huxley. Try to speak like... Actually, just try to be completely silent once we're there. Can you do that? <laughs> I'm impressed. Huxley me seguía en las calles polvorientas. Good evening, ma'am. We've got a problem with our system right now. I'm gonna have to ask you to be patient while I manually read through your record. We can't contact HQ right now. No problem. Is your android friend all right? Does he speak? Oh no, he's mute. He's always been mute. He doesn't have any recent issues with speech or anything. He's been behaving very normally. So, problems with your system, huh? That must be a bummer. That's the weird thing. It's not the system itself. It's the agents working the security posts. I swear, if we had unions, we'd be on strike. They got us working hours so long, half the agents are like zombies. So, we clear to go ahead, or...? Then we got all these reports of androids going nuts! Quiero pasar. Deja de pasar. Deja de pasar. Quédate. Quédate. We got failed neurolog men sparking paranoia. They should be locking up the humans. What's causing all this? Who knows? My old man says the city AI has a virus and it's infected us all. The humans, the androids, the programs controlling sanitation, traffic, everything. Everything. Do you that? Sure. But he also says they put mind control drugs in the toothpaste and I'm going to be a rich corpse CEO before I'm 30. So, can we go? Déjame, déjame. Oh, sure. uh, whatever. Uh, get going. And don't let your android buddy out of your sight. It's not safe for his kind in this zone. Nada, nada. Estará bien. That was easy. Huxley, si no te importa, vamos a recolectar cosas. No es que lo necesitamos, pero es, ya sabes, es un talk. Soy un gamer. Disculpe, tengo un Android y no me importaría dejar que hablase. Quítense de en medio.
Y no me empujen. Estoy harto de que me empujen. No me empuje. A ver, Peter, 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 que no sé si me has visto aterrizar antes en tu cara. Hi, do you work here? We're looking for a guy called. The hell are you doing here? You're gonna get us both killed, Huxley. So this was the client. I pictured a hard-working man in a cheap suit, but instead, I was looking at a greasy-looking. Shut your mouth! You got some nerve coming into this neighborhood and speaking to me like that, Huxley. Look, we just want to help you find your daughter. Shit. Look, this is all a hustle, and it's way out of my league. She ain't really my daughter. Who paid you to say she was? If I tell you that, you're as dead as I am. I've been driving all over the city trying to find this girl. I'm not giving up on this now. Just tell me where I can find her, okay? Just forget her. She's probably fine. The way his voice shook, we all knew he was lying. It's the memory chip in her head they need. It's not about the girl. No one cares about the girl. Huxley does. Just let him do his job. Rio. That's all I can say. Talk. To oh no, Rio, otra vez no. Wait, the corpse sec agent? He just threatened us. Before you talk to me? Hey, that's great. That means he won't know we talked. Or he thinks I talked already. Shit. Just get out of here, will you already? We should go, Huxley. This is getting dangerous. It would get more dangerous, but I had to stick around. It's not safe here, Huxley. It was too late for me. The security checkpoints would be up again. I'd be caught if I went through. Besides, I had some leads I wanted to follow here. Damn it. Well, call me if you need me again, Huxley. I'll see you around. Bueno, pues vamos a dejarlo aquí por hoy. Esto ha sido la Chorre de Torres Hasta la próxima.